Tisk Tisk, what are they doing? Don't they know better than to cross the street while looking at their phone? You really ought to be more careful. You've been making my job really difficult these last few weeks. What? Oh, right, sorry. It must be hard to speak with your face buried into my chest, huh? What'd you say? Where are you? You don't recognize your own apartment? How did you get here? Well, I caught you and transported us here. Are you are you slow? Who who am I? Oh my where are my manners? I'm your guardian angel, of course. You know, you've really been making my job hard. You're so clumsy. Y yes, I'm a guardian angel. Big white wings appearing out of thin air and saving you. Again. That's me, your guardian angel. Yes. Again. Remember three days ago, you were coming out of work and almost got clipped by that paper boy on his bike? Or last week when you fell asleep with the pizza in the oven? You do remember. Good. So who do you think moved you out of the way of that paper boy? Or turned your oven off before you set the place on fire? Oh, you poor fool. You're adorable. It was me, silly. <laughs> it was me. I saved you. Every time. Why am I telling you this? Well, I'm tired of you constantly needing saving. So I'm going to take you somewhere. Somewhere where you won't need saving. Where I can look after you and care for you, and teach you to be less of a klutz. No, no, I'm not supposed to reveal myself. I mean, I did reveal myself, but because I like you. There's something about you. I don't know if it's your clumsiness or if I've just been protecting you for so long that I developed feelings for you, but I like you. And I'm tired of you always being in danger. I'm tired of saving you. Shh, 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 I wasn't finished. Don't interrupt me. I said I was tired of saving you. I will never be tired of you. You might be clumsy, but you're also kind of cute. Now, now you may speak. Why... Why do I like you? I don't know. Maybe I just like clumsy people. Maybe I like the way you blush every time I save you. Listen, human, I'm not supposed to reveal myself, so now we have a little bit of a predicament. You can't go back to your place, and I can't go back to my realm, so me and you are going to find somewhere else. Somewhere where I can look after you. And hold you. And not have to hide my wings. And somewhere you won't have the stresses or distractions of your phone. Or work. Or anything else. What do I mean? <sighs> my dear. Keeping these wings hidden is a pain. They weren't made to be folded away. In this realm I want to take you to. I don't have to hide my wings because... It'll just be us two, and you won't have to worry about anything. I'll take care of you. You... You want to go now? Are you sure? There's no turning back, sweetie. If I take you to this realm, you won't be able to leave. Not without me. And I won't let you leave. Not until you're less clumsy and I can... Oh, well... Okay, then. But you'll need to be asleep first. It'd be easier to transport us if you were asleep. You aren't tired. Oh, don't worry, my sweet. You will be. You forget. I'm an angel, after all. I may be a guardian angel, but we still possess angelic abilities. <laughs> Not just our wings. 
Here, let me just put you down in bed. I'll lay next to you and rest your head on my shoulder. I'll keep my wings around you. Soft feathers will keep you warm and cozy, and my voice will lull you to sleep. Comfortable, sweetie? Good. I promise I won't let you go. As a guardian angel and partner, you have my word. Nothing and nobody will ever hurt you again. You're mine. <laughs> Shush now. Your eyes are getting heavy. You're falling asleep. When you wake up, we'll have left this earthly realm. We'll be in our own realm, away from everyone, where I can take care of you. And you will grow to love me, like I love you. <sighs> they're so cute when they're asleep. They look so peaceful. <sighs> oh, how I've longed to hold them in my arms, my wings around them as I sleep. My precious human, I'll look after you. From now on, you are mine, and only mine. Nothing will hurt you. I promise. <laughs> Something seems to make its way to the mind. Oh, Mama Heaven is mine.